Welcome back, everybody. I thought I would do something completely different than I've ever done before, uh, and that is talk about music. I have very um, strange taste in music. I mean, it goes from heavy metal to classical uh, to country music. Um, it's a big range of gamut. So what I'm going to do, I am going to tell you 50 of my favorite bands or singers, and I tell you my favorite song for each of them. So today we're only going to do 25, and in a few days I'll do the rest. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so at number one, um, got to start somewhere, uh, is, and what I've done basically, so you guys know, I've put them in alphabetical order, so there is no ranking as my favorite bands or anything like that. It's all just 50 bands and my favorite song for each. And the first is 21 Pilots. This is a band I thought I'd never like because they're kind of a mix of rap and reggae. Um, but I tell you what, I really, really like their music. Um, the song that I pick for them is uh, House of Gold. It has one of the strangest music videos I have ever seen. It's almost like a farming accident horror <laughs> movie, the way they did it. But it is so uplifting and it's probably one of the only songs you're ever going to hear a ukulele playing in. So definitely check that one out. So at number two is a band that I have just absolutely uh, fallen in love with over the last couple years. I've only known one song of theirs uh, for the longest time, and that was Eye in the Sky. It is not the song that I like. It's not my favorite. Um, this is a song. It's very slow. Um, I don't know, very emotional. It's a song called Old and Wise. Um, don't know what much I can tell you about it. It's just I really like it. Uh, and what I'll do, maybe in the description uh, below, I will put links for each uh, one of these songs of a video that you guys can watch. At number three is a band that probably not a lot of people have heard of. It is a very uh, sad story. Basically, uh, the lead singer committed suicide, and nine years later, another band member committed suicide. I think they both uh, shot themselves. But if you ever watch Breaking Bad, the song at their very end of the series that plays called uh, Baby Blue, that is Badfinger. Uh, that's not my favorite song, but I do look, like that song a lot. The song that I love is a song called Day After Day. kind of reminds me a little bit of the Beatles. Again, there'll be a link, uh, or just a link in the description so you guys can uh, watch it. At number four is a band that needs no introduction. This is the Beatles. My favorite song is one that uh, was written by George Harrison. It is While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Uh, when there was a um, Hall of Fame induction for George Harrison, uh, this was a song that they played and did to tribute for him. Um, people like Eric Clapton, Jeff Lynne, which is um, ELO uh, lead singer, they all, and even um, Prince made an appearance as well. Um, Tom Petty have all sung this song at some point, uh, doing a tribute to George Harrison. Absolutely beautiful song. If you've never heard it, definitely check it out. So at number five is the Bee Gees. Yes, um, this is not one of their disco songs. It's more of a much slower paced song. It is How Deep Is Your Love. Um, these guys just have such an amazing voice, and how they sync together uh, in this band is just absolutely amazing. Another song that I uh, highly recommend you check out. At number six is Billy Joel. He has got so many just absolutely amazing songs. My favorite of his, though, was a song called Honesty. If you haven't already told, I really like kind of slow, sad, depressing songs, and this is one of those. Again, highly recommend you guys uh, listen to it. Just do a, good, do a Google search or go to YouTube and do a search for Honesty Billy Jolt, and you'll find it. At number seven is Black Sabbath. Uh, they have some pretty amazing songs from Paranoid uh, to War Pigs to Iron Man. Not my favorite. My favorite song is a very slow, depressing song of theirs called Changes. Um, absolutely beautiful song. If you would like another version um, that I think is just probably one of the most soulful songs I have ever heard by Charles Bradley. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. If you do a Google search, you can find it as well. It is just such an amazing song. So at number eight is Boston. Uh, one of the most amazing classic rock bands of all time. I definitely picked probably one of their, uh, or probably the fa their, their most popular song. That is More Than a Feeling. 
the the guy that uh, is the lead singer is just has such an amazing uh, voice in the song um, and some of his other songs as well. The lead guitarist is just amazing in this as well. I'm sure everybody's heard this one before, so I don't have to tell you to go uh, listen to it. But if you haven't heard it, definitely check it out. At number nine is Cat Stevens or Yusuf. I know he um, back then converted to Islam. Didn't really affect his music that much, especially a lot of his early stuff. Uh, he had some amazing songs, but my favorite of his is Father and Son. Has an amazing uh, music video as well from back then that he did um, depicting the song. Such an amazing, uh, soulful song as well. And one of those I would uh, highly recommend you check out. At number 10 is Chicago, a uh, pretty popular band from the 70s and 80s. Um, lead singer Peter Cetera just has an amazing voice. I know he struck out on his own and had a solo career, but this is a song from back when he was still with the band. It is hard to say, I'm sorry. Um, another amazing song. Um, most people have heard of this one. It's probably one of their more popular songs, but again, definitely my favorite. At number 11 is the Cranberries, uh, and this was definitely their probably the most popular song, Zombie. I know uh, Bad Wolf did a, a version of this song. Uh, he actually wanted to have the lead singer appear in it, but unfortunately she passed away before that could happen. Um, most people have heard of this song, especially if they're into the, like, the indie rock um, scene. If you haven't heard it, though, definitely check it out. At number 12 is The Cure. Yes, I am a big The Cure fan. Uh, my favorite song is Love Song, probably one of their most popular. Yes, he definitely looks like a stand-in for Johnny Depp from Edward Scissorhand, but I still absolutely love his music. Um, never was really into the goth phase, but um, again, this was such an amazing song. At number 13 is David Bowie. In my opinion, one of the greatest musicians of all times. He definitely went through some different phases in his life. Um, I, I think it was all, for him, it was all about theatrics, basically having different personas. My favorite song is Life on Mars. I mean, Starman, uh, there's just so many great songs that he sung, but Life on Mars is definitely my favorite. At number 14 is The Doors, another amazing uh, musician who unfortunately... Um, met an untimely death way before his time. I think he could have had some pretty much uh, an amazing career if he wouldn't have passed away. My favorite song of his is People Are Strange. Um, this song, I think, had a big insurgence back when uh, Lost Boys came out back in the 80s, that va the vampire horror movie, another amazing movie. Um, again, though, this, I think, is a, just a, such a cool song. At number 15 is ELO, or Electric Light Orchestra. This is another band just like Alan Parsons Project that I have heavily gotten into. I listen to much everything that they've put out. This guy still has in his 70s, still has such an amazing voice uh, to this day. Um, and Paul McCartney has mentioned before that if the Beatles had survived back in the 60s and hadn't broken up uh, back in the 70s, 80s, if they would have had music, they would have sounded like Yellow. Uh, my favorite song of theirs is Mr. Blue Sky. This is probably one of the most happiest, positive songs you'll ever hear. Um, there's so many other songs I like, but I think Mr. Blue Sky is my favorite. So at number 16 is Elton John, another um, gentleman or musician who has had just such an amazing career with tons of songs, just absolutely great songs. My favorite, though, probably one of his uh, more popular uh, is Rocket Man. Um, again, I think this gentleman has such an amazing voice. Um, highly recommend listening to, to Rocket Man. So at number 17 is Foreigner, another band. I don't think it got a, they've got a, as much uh, popularity as you know Journey and um, Boston and Kansas. But again, such an amazing band from the 70s and 80s, kind of indie progressive rock. Uh, my favorite song of theirs is I Want to Know What Love Is, um, kind of a slower song, kind of almost a, a ballad, I guess you would say. Again, highly recommended. So at number 18 is Glenn Campbell, yes, a country music singer. Um, don't let it fool you, this guy is one of the greatest guitar players of all time. I mean, you wouldn't believe... Um, just how amazing of a guitar player he is. He also has such a great voice as well. 
I'm going to have a uh, link in the description below um, with one of his live recordings where he has a whole bunch of other country music singers around him playing and how amazed they were at how such an amazing job he did playing this specific song, actually. Um, people like uh, Eddie Van Halen wanted, before Glenn Campbell passed, wanted to sit down with him and discuss you know, the inner workings, I guess, of playing a guitar because of that's how much he respected Glenn Campbell. So again, such an amazing song uh, writing and also such an amazing voice and uh, just an amazing guitar player. <clears throat> so at number 19 is Gordon Lightfoot, kind of a folk singer. Um, he had quite a few uh, very popular songs. My favorite, though, is If You Could Read My Mind. Another kind of slow-paced song, but uh, just an absolutely amazing songwriter and had a pretty darn good voice uh, also. So at number 20 is Green Day, another amazing uh, band back in the 90s. I loved them from when they first came out. My favorite song of theirs is Basket Case, one of their early songs. Um, heck, to this day, they're still putting out music, and it sounds pretty good. But again, Basket Case, definitely my favorite. At 21 is Hall & Oates. Uh, my favorite song of theirs is Rich Girl. Uh, one of their earlier ones, I mean, they still put, put out music to this day. Um, they sound so great together. Uh, just absolutely amazing. And they've had tons of, uh, you know, top 20 hits uh, in their career as well. But again, Rich Girl is my favorite. So at number 22 is Iron Mating. Just an... Billy Davidson has such an amazing voice. I mean, melodic to the nth degree. Uh, my favorite song of theirs is Wasted Years. One thing about Iron Maiden, almost all of their songs, when the guitar riffs start, you immediately know one of their songs, and it is from Iron Maiden. But again, Wasted Years is my favorite. At number 23 is Jerry Reed, another one of my country influences. Um, he has such a, a very unique sound to him. He is also an, another one of the very amazing guitar players. His probably most popular song is Eastbound and Down from the Smokey and Bandit movies. My favorite though is Amos uh, Moses. Gotta hear the song. Definitely look it up on YouTube. It is very funky, very Creole sounding, uh, <laughs> and it also makes me laugh every time I hear it. It is such, kind of tells a story um, of a um, gator hunter from Louisiana. Um, <laughs> I definitely would recommend uh, you guys listening to it. At number 24 is Jethro Tull. They are, he was a very, I guess, folk music singer. This song that I love of his is Aqualung. It kind of gets hard at times, and he was one that threw all kinds of instruments into his music, like flutes and all kinds of stuff. Aqualung, highly recommend it. And to round off the top 25 is Jimi Hendrix, a gentleman who died way before his time. And he was so far ahead of his time in the late 60s and early 70s. People 20 years later were playing his type of or making his kinds of sounds with his guitar like he did. Um, died way before he should have. I would have loved to have seen him have a good 20-year career. Unfortunately, drugs took him. Uh, my favorite song of his is Voodoo Child. A lot of his songs are just absolutely amazing. Um, I just love listening to just him playing the guitar, uh, especially anything that's instrumental of his. Just absolutely amazing. So there you go, guys. There are the first 25 uh, songs from some of my favorite bands. Um, in the comments down below, please let me know some um, other bands that you'd like to uh, for me to listen to. Stay away from rap and uh, death metal. <laughs> Not my kind of music. But I would love some more recommendations, and you can expect to see my uh, the rest of my top 50 here in the next few days. Again, guys, I do appreciate you watching.